Good morning, Modern Steaders. It's a balmy 23 degrees out Fahrenheit this morning. It is chilly. We got a cold air snap coming in, which we knew. So yesterday, I cleaned the chimney to the wood stove and cleaned out the wood stove. Tell you what, I'm glad I did. <laughs> It was sure nice waking up this morning, coming downstairs, and having the wood stove going. Feels nice by the stove. Now we gotta go outside and do all of our chores, cause guess what? It's Modern Stetter Update Day! You ready? Pluto's got our pink handkerchief on. It's hunting season. We wanna make sure everybody knows that she's not a deer, right? Morning, birds. Nice and cold. Give them some extra feed since it's so cold out, help them keep warm. But the Icelandic chicks are doing great. They're growing perfectly for us. They're nice and cold hardy. They're doing good in this chilly weather. We're going to be going on a field trip tomorrow. I'm not telling you what it is, but it's going to be fun, and I think everybody's going to be excited by it. So don't miss tomorrow's video. Speaking of videos, how have you been liking the pig harvesting videos we've put out? We need to do the slaughtering video. I'm trying to figure out a way to do that. I know all the modern steaders want to see it. YouTube wasn't happy with our first video. We got flagged. Somebody reported us, or people reported us, which is fine. YouTube has changed in the last year, six months, so we just gotta find our own way. Everything's frozen this morning. Tell you what though, the chicken tractors glided a little easier and all that frost. We've had a few modern setters ask lately about a roosting pole for the Icelandic chickens. This is the roosting pole. It's up very high, so most of the time in the videos I'm shooting down like this, and you don't get to see the roosting pole. They grew their feathers back nicely from when they molted. I've come to the conclusion that our fall garden is pretty much a deer food plot right now. But that's all right, they enjoyed it. At least somebody got to enjoy it. We have a lot more footage from the three day pig harvesting class that we're gonna be editing and uploading. It's taking a little while to get it out there because when I started putting all the footage on my Apple, it crashed it. So it took me about a week to get that straightened out but it's straightened out, it's back better than new, which is a good thing. So now we're just gonna finish editing the videos and get them out to everybody. Let's go! I think I see a rooster out. We put the Polish rooster and the two hens in New York City last night, and look! I guess he didn't like it in New York City. I got the two hens inside. Wait till Pluto sees them.
Hmm. Flew it out this way. That didn't work out like I was hoping it was going to. Pluto was supposed to scare him back this way, not away. I'm sure he'll be back. He made it through the night on his own, so that's a good thing. He should be able to make it through the day. And I'm sure when we get back from work, I'll find him out here in the pasture. Maybe he'll be back in New York City's city limits with all the hens. Let's see if the new hens come out. I had to put them in the coop last night, so let's see. Where are you hiding, girls? What you think of New York City? Do you like it? Come on out. The plan was to move New York City this weekend into its winter spot. But this weekend I'm gonna be harvesting more meat birds. So hopefully the weather holds off and next weekend I can move New York City closer to the house. Hey! He's always trying to get in on the conversation. <sighs> the reason why we want to have it closer to the house is right now we don't have any pigs and when we're giving our scrap food or our leftovers it's easier just to walk out our door and throw the scraps to the animals instead of having to walk all the way down here. And in the winter time, the water freezes, and that means we gotta lug water to them, which is fine, but it's a lot easier when they're close to the house. So that's why we wanna move them closer to the house. Convenience, I don't want, I don't wanna be walking through four feet of snow to get to my chickens twice a day. That is not fun. <laughs> You scared off the rooster the wrong direction. You were supposed to chase him back home, Pluto. We gotta work on those skills, okay? I almost forgot with all the commotion with the rooster, we need to pull these chicks forward. Let's try that. This way. Gonna have to let my truck warm up for a few minutes this morning. Pretty frosty. We left down in this area set up somewhat for harvesting the meat birds. The skulls are still outside. We have the kitchen all set up. The outdoor kitchen worked awesome for harvesting the chickens. That sink in the hot water is perfect for this time of the year. I need to cut and split some firewood for our Kalamazoo wood cook stove. It's gonna be, I think, 17 or 22 for a low Saturday morning and 32 for a high all day. 
So we're going to have the wood cook stove going to keep us warm while I'm harvesting the meat birds. So I got to make sure I get that done Thursday and Friday and stay warm. Well, this is your Friday. So hopefully by your Friday, I've already had all my firewood cut and split and ready to go. If not, I'm going to be cold on Saturday. Tomorrow's video is going to be great. We're going to be going on a field trip. Everybody's going to love it. It's going to be heartwarming. <laughs> I don't know. But it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's road trip. I hope you are too. We're going to have a few normal videos coming up. And then we'll get back to the pig harvesting class. I'm trying to interweave a little here and a little there to keep everybody happy. I need to get the kitchen insulated too. Having to harvest the birds two weekends in a row kind of put a little bit of a damper on our plants. That's all right, we'll get the chickens harvested in the freezer, and then we can start getting the kitchen insulated and getting it more winter-proofed and moving. New York City. Driving back in from work, I saw Andy, the Polish rooster, out. I left Pluto in the house. Let's see if we can catch him this time. If Pluto knew what she was doing, she'd be a great help, but she does it the opposite way. Can you see him? We gotta shut the fence off first. I don't want to get shocked. I think Andy's gonna stay loose. See him over there in the rock? We'll have to look for him tonight when it gets dark and he's roosting somewhere for the night. He's not going to let me get too much closer to him. He's pretty smart. He wants back in. He just don't know how to get in. He don't like me. Andy's a very smart bird. Which is good. That's why he survived last night. I'm not going to spend all afternoon chasing him around. The sun is setting. That means he'll find a place to roost soon. I'll just have to come out and look for him. Fingers crossed we can find him. If not, we'll keep playing this game. Let's go see if we can find Andy, the Polish rooster. I found Andy. Don't know how I'm going to get him. Can you see him? He's up on top of New York City. See him right there? That's Andy. Andy, how'd you get up there, huh? You're crazy. You're a crazy rooster. And I thought Andy was going to be in a tree or the brush. That crazy rooster, Andy is my nephews. It was supposed to be Angie. And they can't have an Andy where they are. So we're gonna have them here. Keep our fingers crossed. We don't have any aerial predators at night. I think Andy will be just fine. I'm not getting on a ladder. So he better be. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.